Welcome to BBC London and a special programme live from the Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park as we mark 10 years since the start of the 2012 Games. Do you remember this moment when our city came together for that spectacular opening ceremony? 10 years ago, this is where all the action happened. And just behind the aquatic centre and the tree line is exactly my view of the Olympic Stadium and all the action. We hear from a Londoner who grew up next to the stadium watching it all happen. Plus, what about the 2012 legacy? Is it delivering on the promises made? And a decade on, I take a tour around the park to see how it's changed, including this. And we're off! Woo! <laughs> You join us tonight live at the Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park in East London. A very warm welcome to you. It was exactly 10 years ago today on a late July evening. The Olympics opening ceremony kicked off the 2012 Games and the eyes of the world were on our city. Mo Farah for Great Britain, it's gold! And just won it. She's totally dominated the opposition. Oh my goodness. Yes, it was a sensational summer of sporting success, but it was also a chance for London to shine. There was an energy in the air, a sense of pride and a feeling of real optimism. As we reflect on the 10th anniversary this evening, our correspondent Carl Mercer reminds us how we got to the Games, because it was quite a journey. But listen, if you have visited the park here, or, you know, for the games or since then, there are a lot of people been here uh, today, you'll appreciate just how vast it is. Well, I took a look around to see what's happening and what's changed since 2012. Being here brings back so many memories of that incredible summer of sport in London. And we followed the creation of the park every step of the way. And this is where the opening ceremony will take place in three years' time. Now the aquatic centre behind me is getting to see progress on the Olympic Park. We've seen some great progress here so far. Secret preparations are well underway. Yes, the stadium's complete, rehearsals are over. Tonight, it's the real thing.